This is an instructional video for assembly of the M124 MAD S connector. The first step is to install the coupling nut, the grommet, and the gripper assembly over the cable. This particular connector is capable of um, servicing cable diameters between 5 and 9 millimeters, so it comes with two options. You can actually pull this apart. So the, the factory option is for a smaller cable of 5 millimeters. We're going to remove that for this particular cable, but you select whatever one is appropriate for your size cable. We'll place that over top. Gripper assembly. And force the grommet into the gripper assembly. Just push that out of the way. And you can also install the body over top as well. The next step is to trim the sheath back 30 millimeters. Once you've trimmed the sheath back, pull the shielding back over top of the sheath. And tape it down with some electrical tape. Like so. The next step is to remove the foil and the plastic covering over the conductors themselves. Now you'll want to strip back the individual conductors about five millimeters from the end. Like so. The next step is to screw down the conductors to the connector hub. And for Ethernet IP, pin one is white green, pin two is white orange, pin three is green, and pin four is orange. The next step is to assemble all the hardware. First thing we'll do is install the connector hub. Next thing you want to do is remove the tape. Now the next part is optional, I guess. It depends on how neat you would like to be. But I like to actually unbraid the braided shield just by using a screwdriver kind of like so, just to separate it. It just helps it to slip over top of the um, coupling much better. So they get a nice even contact around the entire circumference of the connector body. You want to try your best to ensure that no stray shield wire falls back inside of the connector body. Just kind of wrap it around like this. And take the gripper, push that in. Now it's all keyed, so you're going to have to locate the key point and just press it in. You should use a pair of scissors or snips to cut up all the excess and then screw on your coupling nut. So I've trimmed off all the excess shield wire and now I'll just screw this on. There's no torque specification, it really depends on the diameter of the cable. I just want a nice good grip on the cable. Your coupling nut should kind of look like that in the end. And there you go.